We spend a lot of time together in these food safety hearings. And I want to uh, welcome our new members of the committee. I've been on the, this subcommittee for 12 years now. And since I've been on this subcommittee, this is our 10th food safety hearing at which the members of the oversight and investigation spend quite a little bit of time in a bipartisan way wringing our hands. Now, in the meantime, with the latest problem, over 500 people have been sickened. 15 of them are in my home state of Colorado. Half of the sickened people are children, and eight people have died. This is the deadliest outbreak of foodborne illness in decades, but we've seen in the last few years jalapenos, peanut butter again, meat, dog food, and on and on and on. I guess my question is, to Congress in general, how many sick kids does it really take for us to finally act? How many workers need to get laid off before private industry and Congress put resources into protecting the integrity of our food distribution system? And I cannot think of a case that better demonstrates the need for the FDA and USDA to have mandatory recall authority than this case. The Peanut Corporation of America sells in bulk to companies, and then those companies manufacture and distribute processed foods. So even though people started getting sick last summer, current federal law does not empower public health officials to issue a recall in response to an emergency like this. My, my constituents are shocked when they hear this. And instead, companies are left to voluntarily decide for themselves if and when to recall their products. And so, Mr. Chairman, I know this isn't a legislative hearing, but I'm sure that the parents who are sitting here today would like to know that there are actually legislators working on these issues. I've introduced legislation again this year, which I've introduced many times in the past, to finally give the government mandatory recall authority. And the good news is, Finally, this is supported not just by the regulators, but also by the industry. And so I think when we pass comprehensive food safety legislation, finally the FDA and USDA will have mandatory recall authority. The second bill I've reintroduced this year, which I've introduced many times in the past, is the TRACE Act. And what this bill does is creates a comprehensive traceability system so that we can trace from where the peanuts came from to when they're in those little peanut butter crackers that the children are eating, where that came from so that we can recall that right away. That problem was a particular problem last year with the jalapenos in the, in the salsa. I'm happy to report that Mr. Dingle and Mr. Stupak have included both my mandatory recall language and some traceability language in their comprehensive bill. And I'm also happy to report that the regulators support traceability and now Again, the manufacturers are beginning to understand that situation. Mr. Chairman, I'm eager for this hearing today. We need to shed light on this situation. But once we do that, Mr. Chairman, I look forward to working with you and Mr. Waxman so that we can move legislation and begin to solve these problems. Thank you. Mr. Gingrey, for opening statement, please. 